thanks for messing around. Vampire Survivors Beswick 129 goes now. Who's ready for Baviona to get going? Oh boy, is this going to end in so much pain. Yeah. Boy, howdy, what a start. Well, that's rarer than Crown, so... Oh, and that's on the map. That makes it so much worse. Empty Tome is useless. So, we rolling. Okay, Labrador, not useless. Makes it bigger. Spinach does damage, not useless. It makes it last longer, not very helpful, but she has very little that's helpful. Uh, make it bigger. Make it as, make all these weird image thingies across the map. Okay. Maybe eventually I can actually go forward. Clover would increase the chance it explodes off the base thing, but that's not really necessary when you have out of bounds. Alright, let's level up faster. I have no ability to get forward momentum, so it's based entirely around luck. But it shouldn't be too bad on Tiny Bridge, at least. And there's a Spellbinder I'm looking for, and then who knows what's the last thing. Probably Pomerola. Something defensive. I mean, Bracer shoots will make them go faster, but that's not really... I mean, there's nothing else really that helps. Yeah, look how long it's taking just to get over to Merchant. Sure, I could charge, but it's just too risky. Pomerola offers more. Everything's still being one shot right now. Only 20% chance to explode base at level 7. That's so bad. No, I don't even know if size affects it. Oh, right. Duplicator. Duh. Okay, it's charging time. This is an incredible risk, but, well... I have only incredible risks to take. Make it the beginning, since that does affect the amount spawned. And I really, really should have grabbed beginning first. Oh wow, you spawned back in Frozen. Pretty impressive that. Yes, Tyrona's box. Man, I just can't make any forward progress without taking extreme amounts of damage. Do I have a bunch of armor or something, or do these just do nothing? Ah, now there's an enemy that actually hurt me. Man, yeah, taking a while to get crown up. Oh, bloody starburst. What? How did that hit me? At least the sheer amount of them is going to keep me pretty safe. Out of bounds is a ridiculously good Arcana for a reason. And I am slowly but surely making progress over to that Attractor. And with it comes all the XP in the world. And the ability to actually evolve. Uh oh. Oh, there's Arcana. Sword. And Arcana Sword will get me awake because there's very little else I could do. Like, maybe Lost and Found Painting, but that's not particularly helpful. Heck, even Bracer barely is. I really should have held out for Duplicator, but I forgot it existed. Easy mistake to make. As I just made it. See, when there's actually stuff happening on camera, it's a lot easier to have commentary. Oh, please tell me the headset didn't disconnect again. 
Oh, that was a lucky event. Alright, now get the attract orb up going pretty fast. And hopefully... no, oh, no. Oh, get the amount while it's there. Okay, that wasn't too many. Oh, Starburst. And not the fun kind. Or the other fun kind. It's awakening time. Good. Nothing, nothing big coming out. Ooh. Hmm. Please be... No. Right. I should stop getting XP. But I need to move. Right up and down it is. Please give me the chest I so desperately need. Well, I got an invincible wall of these things. Oh, bloody Starburst. Of course she had to get on Tiny Ridge. Well, at least it's going to be no problem. Wait, I destroyed the sword and no chest? Come on, son. Oh, I've gotten too many levels off the robe. Not the... Jaywara. I don't know, it's never something I really grab outside of her or out of bounds builds. Because why would you ever want to grab it? Okay, yeah, it's super duper strong later, but right now it's kind of weird and janky. Man, it does damage so slow. Yeesh, I'm not even going to be able to get to wings. Oh, man. The Starbursts are going to get me eventually. But I have awake. And the force is with me. There we go. Now I got some power. Should... Udra. Now they'll just charge in and clear the way for me. Yay. Much better. Now it's an actual weapon instead of weird thing. I guess with this in Legionnaire you could have like an entire army of yourselves. Uh, maybe throw in the Paco Batelier too. No, no, get away from me like- wait, what? Seriously? This was enough to break out? That's crazy, this was nothing. Well, at least I can dodge the dang starburst super easy here. Go, my clones, take the bullets for me. Yes, perfect. That's what a clone should do. Protect your original. Oh man, I'm. This is actually getting pretty dicey. Thought well, once I had Jadora, but oh man, ah, good safety point. Not too many of them are going down south pointlessly. No. If I had wings, this would be settled more, but I don't. Oh man, all those chickens gone. Eh, well, the Arcana was not particularly useful anyway. Bat wave, bat wave. What are you doing, bat wave? I think I've said this before, but one time I was just walking down the street, and bam! Giant cyclone of bats. I'd never seen bats in all my years. Well, outside of, like, zoo exhibits and stuff. 
So it was really strange. Like if a sinkhole had suddenly opened up into a cave system they'd been living in secretly this whole time. As far as I'm aware, that didn't happen. Never been attacked by a bunch of guys in giant armor either. But that's, you know, probably fairly uncommon these days. Oh. That was. Oh, wow. I guess these really over lag, though. Hmm. Wait, why am I getting no XP? They are the only really dying that far off. Uh-oh. Very bad. Very bad. Thought I'd just go straight through. But, well, I mean, I doubt it's gonna cause any problems as long as I can just circle around fast enough. Oh, sword and got close. But I still have four revives on the back end. So, shouldn't be a problem. Now there's one down. Uh, what could the Arcana have done for me if I had bothered to grab it? Oh, of course a Starburst. Every time. Alright, Void. You do stuff to me. Whoa. Whoa, that's way too many. Too much damage. Well, there's a chest that's not helpful. Sure, this may be cheese, but at least I'm trying to fight some enemies. Oh, man. And besides, if the game lets me break out of bounds, that's its fault. You know, it gives me an Arcana option. It's not cheating. Because, well, who cares? It's a single player game. I don't know, maybe you care. Give me a comment if you care. Yeah. Oh. Wow, you actually found me. That's weird. Anyway, that's Tiny Bridge down. Mount Moonspell's coming up in a jiff. 28.4 million, but not exactly the best map for it. Time for Babiona to return home. Mount Moonspell it is. And it's gonna be a very, very hard one. Probably. I don't know, I've never done Sun Old Sanctuary with her before. Maybe it'll be super duper easy. Tractorb is on the map. Spellbinder is not. Merola, Spinach, Kinnabador, Peter, Tractorb. So, Tornus Box, Spellbinder, Crown, Bracer doesn't do anything, so wings. And I guess armor and hollow heart. What else is there? No need empty tome. Oh, clover would work. Can Labrador and spinach are on the map. There's Tronus box. There's my wings. Arbador is on the map. This is slightly more effect. Actually, Candle Arbador doesn't seem to actually get a f effect the size of it. They seem like they were the exact same size the entire time, so it's pointless. Which is odd, because there doesn't really seem a reason it should not grow. I have a lot of weapons that seems like they shouldn't do, but once that like they do. Well, actually, it's just about this, isn't it? I can't think of another weapon that doesn't get its size increase right off the top of my head. Heck, even 
the wands do. Magic wand, holy wand, they increase size. They're just so tiny, it usually doesn't matter. It's hollow heart. And now I just need whatever else I was going to grab. I'm sure it was amazing. Crown. That was it. Not sure if the explosion from the robe itself can stack with the out of bounds, but I might as well try. See if that'll beef up the damage a bit. And there's crown, and now I can make a break. Or how I wish I could make a break anyway. See, if I had just pentagram, this would be over already. But I do not. Alright, get a bit more luck. And now run over to that chest. Or that Pomerola. Glorious Pomerola. Could circle move, but it's still so dangerous. I think the base damage of this is pretty dang high, honestly. Compared to a lot of other weapons. And then, you know, it explodes. Does area damage, so that's always nice. Huh. Man, whole nice field of weird ice... Grandmas. She actually related to the moon spell. She doesn't have a moon spell in her name. I don't know, maybe she's just a. Uh... Dang it, what do you call it? It's not. I mean, it shouldn't be Kabuki. That's got a whole headdress thing. Also, I don't even know if there are female Kabuki performers. It's only ever m men in the generic character root. Oh, Konga Boncho, you so deserve an anime. What else do I have going on, though? Oh, this is feels like about on average with how I'm going. Five minutes to get this far, huh? Man, why am I taking Clover over Crown? That's not an exchange you ever want to do. Man, I can't make any forward progress because it just pushes them back so slowly and I really don't have the stability. You know, of course, Starburst. Oh, terrible. Now I can't push through even more. I need to put more roll, honestly. Just gotta get my health back as fast as possible. Oh, nice amount of levels up there. Oh, a chest I do not want, because it could get me Torona's box maxed out. And I am way too far off that attract orb. I can punch through now. Oh, why did you exist, trees? Another one, come on! Oh, I need to wake so fast. There's no arcana chest here, right, right. Oh, you went down, bosso. Tornus box is at four, which means that is in danger of maxing me out. So, no risking it. Oh, I thought I grabbed that gem. Alright, there's the Tronas maxed out. And frankly, far too many Mirage robes are going to come out of this. Well, only six, so that's not too bad. Oh, if only I could get an Oral Logian. Oh, wait. Taglio left is over there on the right. I can get that. I will not be able to really do a lot, but hey, at least I can say I have it. No, without garlic, they're not going to freeze the Atlantean. At least I'm surprisingly safe. In fact, it might actually be better not to evolve it, because this gets me so much more safety comparatively. Yeah. 
Jadora is kind of better, or, you know, the Mirage War base seems kind of better for a solo weapon than Jadora. Jadora is really more for taking care of bigger threats when you've got other stuff. Hmm. I mean, I could just go up to Tractor 4, that would be fine. Oh, I could have saved that. Oh, no, they're getting in. Well, not very effectively, at least. Oh, man, the Oni. The McCoy Onis, the Tanuki Onis. So hardy. Now, do I just want to charge through? Any chicken near me? No. That was nicely timed. Oh, hey, and, uh, NFT. Where you at, Awake? Save me. And probably Sarabande is the last. That makes a good pickup. Ah, my eye. My eye has it. The audio is right? Yeah, audio is good. Oh, it's probably not good. da 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 Yeah, nice safe back end. And now it's all run out. That did not last very long for having both Spellbinder and Torona's box. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not getting, like, heavily frozen. Like a lot of other things would. But it still is slowing down through the Mirage Rope stuff. So that's nice. Oh, there's that maxed out. And the boss Tanuki on the back end. Need to keep moving. That's what spawns it in. The faster you move, the more spawn in. Wow, that was a really pathetic one. No, that was a chicken, not anything helpful for going forward. Very helpful for staying alive, but not helpful for moving forward, unless I had Sierra Bonde, which I do not. Maybe I should have held off, but the risk was still there, falling with the Atlantean chasing me down. Phew, that's some tight Vampire Survivors gameplay. Nice to have something that requires some attention. Sometimes it's feast, sometimes it's famine, and sometimes you're running constantly in circles just to try and get ahead. Oh, hey, I can do a breakaway. Yay, Kappa Zone. Yay, Attract Orb. Now, do I actually want to evolve it on a map where it would be better? Or do I want to try and just power through? Well, the Atlantean went down before I got Silver Ring. That's either a good sign that I'm doing a good amount of damage, or a bad sign that I took so long that it died. Well, I suppose we'll find it. Wait, on the left? Oh, a bunch of chickens over there. I need to level up. Get some chests, get some chests. Hmm. might actually be riskier to take Jodora. This is pr pretty safe. Safety is paramount. Even what, what would Jodora even get me? Sending them out? That's not helpful. It's helpful when you have other weapons and you don't want things near you. But they're always going to be near me here. I have Charm and Curse on. I'm going to banish it. That's strange, but I think this is actually better than the evolution in these circumstances. That could stick out the Tango pretty well. The Atlantean's not a threat. 
And the big bona boy is just stuck cold. Thanks, Starburst. And all the time, every time. Yeah, I knew I had the chicken there, so I could have risk so I could risk that. Alright. Once I get the Atlantic down, it's time for the slow crawl into the Oni hole. That's gonna be an interesting time, eh? Will I do enough damage? Probably not, since I don't have spinach. Will it be a bad idea? Oh, absolutely it will be a bad idea. It's never a good idea to go in the Oni Hole. But, it is what I'll be doing. Yeah, if the Atlantean is lasting this long, it's because my damage is poor. Nope. And I took a long time to get up here. Nope, because I... Oh. Well, that's about maximum duration, so charge. Oh boy, not so many. Why did that not last very long? Oh, that was an absolute ton of levels. Wait, yeah, you know, right, remember, they do respawn up when you get... I mean, you get a firing of your weapon when it levels up. So, I kid. Oh man, I can't make any forward progress, can I? Oh, right. They freeze things. <laughs> and I have pretty substantial health regen. So as long as I make controlled circles, I can slowly grind my way over that duplicator. I just need to line myself up right. Gotta keep moving. Don't want to lose it. Now... Oh, hey, I found it in the mess. Nice. And that's just one more Oni going on. Or one more Mirage Robe clone thing. And that's two more. But that's two more than I didn't, that I needed. Or something. Sweet Orlogan. Grab the Candle Labrador, which I don't think actually does anything. Then bail out for spinach time. Why is it lasting so short a time? I have Spellbinder, Tronus Fox, and the Silver Ring. Is it no longer affected by it? Oh dang, their Arcana Chest is on the right. No, at least Candle Labrador came up. I mean, Dances with Onis would make a fine title, but... Not really exciting unless you know what's going on in Vampire Survivors. Then again, if you're watching 130 plus Vampire Survivors videos, no wait, this is 129. Well, you probably know what an Oni cave is. Or should. Where's the exit? Over here? It's so hard to tell when there's so much stuff on screen. Goody. Exit. And the slightly weaker Oni has spawned in. Now to Spinach Town. Should be much easier than... Uh, it was Pina, right? Yeah. Clear asteroids. Weird. I'd consider Pina stronger. Well, I guess Bob Oni is going to chew through. Back so far. These have been the easiest well, characters to do it with. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Haven't had anything close to failure. In fact, I think I popped like one revive and that was more through sheer arrogance than anything. What? Why am I not being hurt? Are they getting frozen that far off? That's weird. Who? Orochi, no. 
Okay, I shouldn't do that. I should just go straight for the spinach. Chada, 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 chada teeth. Skeletons, skeletons everywhere. Right, I got Cerebonde correctly. Uh, there you are, spinach. Join me. Let us destroy Orochi together. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, if you got Arcana on the adventure, you probably actually could beat Orochi with base Meong. It's really designed to have you lose, but hey, it's Vampire Survivors. You can beat death if you try hard enough. What the heck is going on with the skeleton head? Is Orochi higher on the sprite table than it? Yeah, what's... Oh no! It's getting completely drowned out by all the Mirage Orbs. Mirage Robe clones. Hm. I think this is a very rare case where the base weapon is better than the evolution. For certain circumstances. You're never gonna say, you know, Bloody Tear is weaker than Whip, or Holy One is weaker than Magic Wand. I mean, would anything else even compare? Yeah. I mean, a high-grade Lucky Swipe could be comparable to Cross Wires, because Lucky Swipe would at least hit more at once. Man, there's just nothing. Freeze build is overpowered. Man, look at all those numbers fly. She hasn't been hurt in forever. Bam! Can you get through all this death? I don't think so. There's so many coming in. Wait, where are you, Avonway? Oh, there you are, down below. Yeah, you you can't get through this. I could go forever. How many deaths can I spawn in? Probably a lot. Probably an enormous amount. But I do have to quit eventually. There's two deaths, and well, there's really nothing they can do. They are super weak to freeze by default, and this, well, is freeze. But I really don't have the time to go through like 6 million HP, so it will end eventually. I think after 3 deaths. I mean, maybe 4? Each one of them could have one of my revivals. Oh, hey, random events spawning in. Come on, Death, what are you so scared of? This is one old lady you're not gonna claim. I oh, still have an Oni thing. Oni Buddha. Oni False Buddha. Oh, that's four deaths. There we go. Oh, hey, a giant skeleton. Oh, that must mean I'm close to the gold ring, huh? No. You just decided to spawn it out of nowhere, huh? Weird. Well, that's Bobbiona successfully evading death. 177 from Mirage Robe, 46 million from Out of Bounds, and Sarabande. Well, some people say bronze medalists are winners. Next up, though, is going to be McCoyoni and his giant pile of eggs. Thanks for watching. And that is two more down on the Beswick. 186, 187. Ah, uh, I'm surprised that Moon, Moon, the Legacy of Moonspell is going so easy. That means something terrible is going to be coming up eventually. Oh boy. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everything you've done in the terms of subscriptions, comments, likes, and dislikes. Hey, I am fine with you disliking the content and showing me. 
That's just human. Have a good day and keep messing.